Hi folks, Gamebook here again and we're back with the Black Death and we're carrying on from my last video which was how to get yourself a house without going through the tutorial because the tutorial would give you enough money probably to buy a house just thereabouts if you sold your peasant contract. So I have a land contract here. I have a bunch of other stuff on me, loads of wood and um, I chopped some of this at the, I think at the end of the last um, no, it's nothing I've go straight on. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So here we have a house. I found this house in a sort of okay position. Seems all right. Um, seems like there's a lot of stuff around here, so it's not a bad place at all. So, what you do to get a house, it has to be a house that looks like this. So in other words, no one owns it. You can tell no one owns it because it's going to be a shell of a house. Now, when you come to your house, you will come up to this, and this is where you can purchase it from before I do that. You have a kind of choice. If you got to this stage as I did, uh, I've gone and gathered a load of wood up as much as I can personally carry uh, alongside everything else that I'm carrying. These are probably I'm a bit extra than I need, so to speak. Food is yeah useful. The rest is useful. The pelts are a luxury, so I'm wasting 12 spaces, which could be for wood. You need lots and lots of wood. So find a place that has wood close-ish by. Most places have got a lot of wood around. The quality of the wood is irrelevant. So you come over to the workbench, you press this, and you can claim the land. I think you can put whatever you want in. I don't care. Let's put in 9999. And we will claim. This house is now mine. This is a tier one house. To upgrade the tier costs 12 bits of wood. You can store up to 25 bits of wood in the house without having any sort of chest or anything. These are the things you can store in the house. They're also used for the upkeep of the house. This tells you how long before you need to pay for your upkeep again. I think this is a bit bugged because I've got wheat that I don't think I'm using for upkeep, but maybe I don't need it, I'm not sure. Uh, my door code is uh, shown here. Um, I don't quite like the fact that it shows this. There was a thing in the old game where you could just blank it out, but fine. It just means every time I do anything, this doesn't matter. It's my private server. The reason I'm doing my private server is my house on my, and the main server that I play on is fully upgraded, so there's no point showing it here. So yeah, you can abandon it. Don't click that. This, I think, tells you how many people you have working for you. And then the rest of the stuff appears here. These are your upgrades. Um, so yeah, we are going to bang into the house all the wood that we have, which is 10. I don't have any more than that. I'm just going to deposit there. I can't upgrade yet. The first thing you need to do is upgrade this house. Literally the first thing you want to do. So we're going to want some wood. Now, I spotted some wood on this hill. This is going to give me four. So this is going to allow me to start upgrading my house. Also, yeah, going to give me some skill points as we go along. So I'm going to show you the first upgrade. Then I'm going to probably cut away. Oh, it's a bit boring. There are a few tr tips and tricks to uh, getting wood faster. Um, they're tips more than tricks. There's nothing special about it. Right, so we're going to get this house on the go. This will allow us to actually get on our house some walls now it will use the stuff in my inventory if i click upgrade now so it doesn't have to just use what's on my um it can be my inventory or it can be in storage so i've got four on me i know that i'm going to add it to the storage anyway because it's just excess weight that i don't want to be carrying around and i'm going to upgrade it's going to take 40 seconds we'll come back and we will check this place out in 40 seconds time so we need to go and get some more wood. I'm going to just show you a little neat trick that I do. There's a bit of wood there. We'll come back for that bit. Because um, I saw two logs close together over this way when I was coming down here. I think it was over here. Probably wrong. Um, and though they'll give awful wood, that doesn't really matter. So there's a little useful trick. If you get wood that's close enough together, as soon as you swung, you know, I was waiting before. It feels a bit more natural to just keep doing this. 
You'll know when, oh, I'm just not quite doing it. you know when you've ran out of wood on these because unlike the other ones that disappear, all full wood, I'm probably stood a bit too far to one side for this to work perfectly. All full wood just chops in half when you're finally done. It will yield six each one, well. Right, I'm encumbered so I can't take that wood. Which is quite annoying and you can only walk at like that speed. I think I've set my server so I can walk a bit faster but I'm gonna have to drop two pieces of wood. Well one piece of wood's fine. Um, I think it's disappeared which is a little bit nice oh, there. We might come back and get it, we might not. So we're gonna go back and see that our house is now upgraded but we're not gonna have enough wood for that. Um, it's at this point you have to decide what's most important to you security or upgrading your house again um, security means slapping a door on the front you weirdly to upgrade your doors you can't just upgrade them you have to destroy them and upgrade them I don't know if that's meant to be that way so we, as you can see we've now got walls so there we have it upgrading again gives you like a, a wing sticking out the side here upgrading again gives you another wing sticking out here I'll explain nodes in a second. Let's just chuck this wood into storage. So as you can see, to upgrade again is 18. Now I know I can probably get that wood before someone were to destroy my house, but it is a risk. Each of these nodes has a purpose. This can be upgraded to farmland, a well or resource storage. This can be a guard. You need a peasant contract for that. You also need to pay wheat for their upkeep. But that's what I think is glitched. This can be, there's a selection of things it can be. Not lots though. This can be a very finite amount of stuff. And this can be, yeah, so there can't really be a great deal. I would advise, unless it's, you're going to have multiple chests, don't stick a chest here. Um, or stick stuff in there you're not worried about being stolen. Because if someone takes your door out, and assuming they don't just destroy your house, which they can do, they can just literally run over to here if you don't have any guards. They can do that, and there's actually an option to destroy. And they can just blow, completely destroy your house back to nothing in seconds. I think the only thing that remains from what I've heard is anything in the storage, which is kind of weird. I assume a destroyed house becomes unowned by you as well. Um, so yeah, you might want to go for a door is the most primary thing. 16 for a door. It's probably not a bad call because at least it's some security and you're going to want some sort of door on your house regardless so we're going to go and do that very quickly i know that there is wood just here that i could come and get so let's get this wood my next concern will actually be a chest weirdly because i need to get rid of the gear that i'm carrying now yeah it's a risk but carrying it around means i can carry less wood and I need to consistently do this for the minute. I also need to be able to put down things like my pickaxe um, because again it's just weight that I don't need on me. Uh, come on. All right, so that's, that's as much as I can do. I don't think the wood up here has respawned. It does respawn faster than it used to. So I would next suggest basically coming here and seeing if I can make a door, which I can, and I'm going to do that. That door will then be in and the lock will be in effect, so to speak. I've got no wood left, so my next job will be to go and get some more wood. That door is going to take 18 seconds from now. So I'm going to run over and try and get some more wood so I can build a chest, which I think is 22 wood, which is more than I can carry. But we're going to go back to this piece that was on the floor, grab that, plus there were some logs to one side. So we're going to grab that as well. Um, I think there's some more down that hill. So let's see if we can grab that piece of wood if it's still there. We can, we'll take that. There's nothing wrong with free wood. You can purchase wood as well, so I don't think you always have to go chopping it, but it is probably the easiest way. I would advise anytime you're chopping wood, look around. I rarely have bandits spawn on me here, um, but I do have, I think certain areas are more typical to have bandits spawn in on you. Um, 
but player could just run past and just decide to take you out in a shot or two so that's why I'd say keep your eyes peeled right so how much wood have we got on me three six seven eight nine or ten can't really carry much more there's no point um trying to you know there's no point just going and getting one piece of wood I might as well go back and then go and get some more now my water's really low so let's drink and my food's almost low uh, low enough so probably not far if I could have actually had another bit of wood on me let's just go and get rid of this so it's a bit of a ball though and that's why I'd say try and build a house where there's resources close by uh, is this door locked it is not so you actually have to physically lock the door um, I'm not going to be able to make a chest 22 wood so let's drop that wood nine I'm not going to be able to I mean I'm leaving the door open I would advise you probably shut it now there is more wood over here there is 12 not sure I can carry 12 nine not like my limit there um careful of not dying on things like that oops that was silly of me there we go boom yep two logs down here as well there we go so i can do that uh, i was just a bit too early there I need to basically finish the swing ah. start on that one must have done and I believe there's one more log just up here there it is I won't be able to take all of it I'll probably be able to take two or three pieces um, and that's all they're saying that I can eat uh, we've got any food that's heavy no let's just see that bread roll then No, I'm not going to be able to carry probably more than two of these. Yeah, that's it. I'm not, I don't really want to throw anything away. Um, so I don't think I'm quite going to have enough. No, I had nine, didn't I? And I'm carrying another ten. So I've only got nineteen. So I'm going to need a little bit more just to get that chest up. Now again, I do know where there's a bit more wood around here because I've been exploring a little bit. That one on the hill may have come back. Yep, there it is, so we'll get that anyway. And that will allow us to do the chest. Let's just pop all that wood. This is good. I like this, by the way, about being able to just uh, do that. You can put, if you don't know how much you've got on you, which at one point I didn't. They've added that in now. That counts how much is on your inventory. I just bang in as much as I physically could. Like I put in 25, and if you haven't got 25, it puts in as much as it possibly can. Now later you get stuff that's actually beyond the capacity of um, what you can store it's needed for upgrades. Oh, for God's sake. Um, but you can upgrade your amount of storage that you have in the house. So another thing that was glitched and that seems to work absolutely fine for me now as well. So that's nice. So I've got enough I could upgrade the house actually here but I'm mm, oh no I'm gonna upgrade the house it's gonna take me two minutes 40 to do it while I'm doing that I'm gonna go and grab some more wood um which there's some just down here some animals there um they'd be great to kill right now but I'm more interested in getting the wood uh, bandit down there he's probably not going to bother with me now I should get six from this now these should give you sort of average sort of wood so if it doesn't say rotten log you will get common wood from it it doesn't really matter in that sense it's the, the benefit of it is just the amount of wood you can get but you could use it for obviously crafting is he coming all the way up here or not I could kill him 
There he is. Let's say he's being a bit glitchy, so I don't ever want to worry about him. I might come back and get that in a second, that pig. It should still be here. So, my house still hasn't upgraded yet, but it shouldn't be too long before it does. 1 minute 20. In that time, I should end up with... Um, don't worry if it doesn't show up, by the way, straight away. Why oh, I pressed the wrong button. Sometimes it won't show up as well straight away, but don't worry. If you press out and go back in, it'll be in there. So we need 11. We need another 11. Um, it may have come back over here, actually, so maybe lucky. Uh, no, it hasn't here. I wonder if those two on the hill have come back. If not, I know where there's a crap ton of wood around here anyway. There's a load straight over directly ahead of me, if you head that way. Um, but there's also a load up the hill up there. Um, so, you yeah. know, oh, no, this has come back. So we will mine this instead. Say mine. what the right word is farm I guess would be the word farming wood and obviously this is not that exciting but I just want to get you this is how you sort of get things running once we have a chest I feel that we can do the next steps um, can I drink some water or something? Oh, yeah, I'm quite low on water. What I'm going to do is eat that bread roll, and then I'm going to go and get some more bread. Hopefully, I'll be able to dump a load of stuff into the uh, um, chest. I was just thinking, I was, my train of thought went there as I'm actually thinking, have I got cook meat as a skill yet because I've got loads of skill points that I can use um, I don't think I've got cooked meat yet so let's just add all of that oh exactly the amount I need so we're gonna make a chest um, here's not a bad place to make it because at least it's behind another door if I want to put another door um, I've realized actually there's two upgrades so I've it's never been there's a bit of the back here then you get a wing on one side and a wing on the other for now I'm just gonna make the chest um, here um, we're gonna make a chest and that's gonna take 44 seconds we'll get that up and running before we dump stuff in it and then we're gonna go get some more food we've got plenty of cash that's not a problem and some water and then we're going to do the rest of it. So what I will do is as soon as this chest is up, I'm going to go and probably do a load of harvesting of stuff and cut the video and come back when I've done a load more work. Come on, chest. Come on. As you can build a door here as well, by the way. So extra layer of security. And there's a node that becomes available here for a guard. So it's quite good if you have a door, a guard. Um, the guard stops people from being able to come in and just wipe your house. So every, um, like here you can have guards. Every guard that you can have, I think there's one outside the gate, it's not there yet. Um, every guard that you can have will stop your house being wiped until they've killed them. Now the guards are useless, I mean really, really useless. But they they do that job so if nothing else they force people to kill them now if you hide a guy behind this door and you have a really good door on here that means that at least um they've got to break that door that door and that door down 
before they can actually smash your house in. That said, some places, this is not one of them, I don't believe, allow you to leap in, so you'd actually only have to take two doors out. Right, I'll be back once I have got some food. Okay, so we're back, and we've been doing a few bits and bowls. We've collected a bits of wood and stuff like that. Got ourselves some food, and we are about to start getting ourselves some um, ore to help us with our house so this is a good spot for it i mean there's plenty of these around these gray uh, blue ores um and you know do use them uh these are one of the better ways to get it if you start mining or uh, granite ore like this and you find yourself getting um stones rather than stone ore so small rocks or whatever they're called then probably better to just look around to see if there's any more of it about because some like these two here only give ore but some will give a mixture um, and you just want ore you don't want stones unless you do need stones for whatever reason but um, I've never found a reason I specifically need it now you can mine the gold to get some um, stone ore you could mine the iron to get stone ore but I'm just wanting stone ore at this point um, now I remember one of these just a stone ore again and now that one's giving me rocks so i'm not going to bother with that one because i just keep dropping the rocks this one let's have a look that's giving me rocks as well all right this one i think just gives all we're going to drop that rock we're just going to want as much of this as we can physically get our hands on for the moment. And is that mineable still? It is. There's a point where you can often it'll disappear into the scenery and you can't mine it anymore, but this is still fine. I'll be able to get one more of them. Yeah, that's going to be it. Right. Um, I think that one as well might just give you stone ore, but I could be wrong. I mean, like I said, there's lots of that granite about. It's not the only place. You will find deposits that are um, stone deposits. They're like a white colour. They will more than likely give you rocks more than they'll give you ore. So try not to bother with them. Try to just go for granite where you can. Now iron and gold and silver will either give you well i say that silver sometimes gives you just silver and gold sometimes gives you just gold iron tends to give you ore and iron ore and stone ore that's <coughs> really confusing um basically it, it will either give you stone ore it'll give you both whereas gold can give you one or the other so to speak so back at our house the door is not locked because i'm on my own server <coughs> so we can open it up and we're gonna pop our um stone into storage and we've got 19 which is great and we're going to deposit that 19 so we can now upgrade the house once more what that will do is add a wing onto the side here Actually, at this point, you could be thinking, what do I really want to do? You know, you could be going, I want a well, um, which isn't a bad choice at all. This can become a well, and there's only, the only point to do with this is either um, resource storage or well at this point. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade my house again and get my house as fully upgraded as I can. Uh, so we'll do that. My next upgrade is going to be a load more wood and a load more stone um as i've just mined the stone i'm gonna now go and grab that oh i know what i wanted to do poop i wanted to make a campfire never mind we've got some water anyway uh we are going to equip that and we're going to unequip that and we are going to oh wrong one So, you can, so, I mean, this is a problem with this thing. I can go there and unequip that if I wanted to. 
Oh, hang on, has it been weird? No, it's not. I thought it was doing that weird thing where it won't allow you to unequip something, but it's not. So, yeah, I'm going to go and get a bit more wood. And I will be back once I've got a load more wood and a load more stone ore to upgrade it again. But I also want to show the house off when it's upgraded. Okay, so we are back and um, we've got ourselves a load of ore. Um, we've got ourselves a load of wood. You can see that my house has upgraded. I now have a little wing jutting out from the side there. Um, and I've basically got myself a load of stuff. I've ran out of room in here for wood, which is why you upgrade storage. But I don't really want to upgrade the storage just yet. So I've got 13 now. I can't add 13. I can basically add 8. But that's enough for that. I've not got enough wood, but I can pick wood up and do and have it on me. So because I've been mining, I've got myself a bit of gold. Got myself some ore there, but I need wood basically. Um, I can't do anything with the iron ore just yet, but I'm hoping I can soon. Now I need 28 and I've got 25, so I basically need to be able to pick up three wood. Uh, it doesn't matter what those three will do. And then I'm going to upgrade my house one final time. Um, upgrade. That's going to take five minutes 20. For some reason, it's not time has not kicked in so this has all come out now at least so I can add to storage the um, so my son is coughing he's got a bit of a cold so I'm over the monitor he can hear him coughing he's fine but he just coughs an awful lot throughout the night yeah so yeah I can add this stuff to the um, storage now beauty about that is I can dump that and now I'm just gonna take all this wood and pop it into the actual house. I think there's a bit more there. And this will finish off my house and then there's no more I need for any of this sort of stuff. So 11. Now what I want to make is I want to make a well and I want to make a campfire. And these are two sort of important things that I can make or need to make. Now you can't make, weirdly, campfires outside. They have to be made inside. You can make wells outside and you can't make those inside. Certain things just can't be made in certain places. I personally like to have a campfire just inside the door. So I'm gonna see if I can make one here. I need 12 wood and six stone. I don't think I've got enough stone. No, not enough wood. I can go and remedy that very, very quickly. Um, just take that. Actually, I am going to... Because that's a set of wood there, basically. So, oh, I've done it again. Keep doing that where I put the wrong one down. Um, actually, while we're waiting for the house to sort itself out, I'm going to go and take that and sell it, and on the way get some wood. And also get some water. So, and then my next thing to do will be to actually upgrade, uh, sorry, add storage. I need some additional storage space, so we'll do that next. So on my way, there's some wood here, which I'm going to chop. That should give me, that was weird, it felt like someone had spawned next to me, but I haven't. I think it's just that guy down there spawning in. Um... Yeah, so I will want to upgrade my storage, but I mean, it, this is the thing. If you're playing on a populated server, you really got to make your choices. I probably would have done doors first before I worried about upgrading my house for a second time. I probably would have done a small chest and... Actually, no, I think I would have done a house so I've got walls around it. That would have been my first priority. Till that point, it is fairly pointless to do it. Um... That's what we got up here. These are stone ore. You would think stone ore would give you, oh, that sounds really stupid, stone ore, but it doesn't. Prepare to die, um, it predominantly gives you rocks 
Um, but it will give you stone ore every now and again. Um, so that's why I don't really bother with it. There's tons of it in these hills though. There is also a mine just down there, but it's got loads of enemies in it, but it has got iron ore, it has got um, gold in there, I think granite, but yeah, you'd have to kill the people that are in there first, which is not, well, it's sort of difficult because they're not that easy to kill, um, it's more if they get lucky hits on you and you're not particularly well tooled up. Um, also, the other day when I was fighting him, the collision detection was really bad, but it could have just been the way the server was. Alright, so let's sell this gold to this guy. And I'm going to buy any iron ore he might have. And he has none. So there's nothing else I really want from this guy. Um, so we're just going to sell these. And we're now on nearly two grand's worth of stuff. I'm going to see if this guy's got any water for sale, just short term. I've got things there. He doesn't. Um, he's not really got anything in the way of good food either. I'm not really fussed about any of that. So we're going to go back and we're going to make a campfire as soon as we can. Because um, then we'll be able to cook up water. You know, I might as well just grab some on my travels. Everything's farmland these days. And basically, these puddles here seem to be a bit better. Yeah, dirty water. You won't be able to search again for about 10 seconds or so. There we go. I've got leeches, don't want those. Drop. Come on. That'll allow me in a second. There we go. So we've got two lots of water as well. Um, you know, while I'm here, let's grab some more wood. Why not? I thought there was an animal there. I think I heard one. There's usually a couple that spawn just over there. There's usually a few on the road down. If you follow this road down, there's usually a couple as well. take as much as we can from this and I think this will do for now that's been done it's more of a rotten log something's going down so what I'll do as well once I get to the house is I'm going to have a look at my skills because I literally haven't used a single skill point in ages oh there's a pig I might actually have a go at killing him because he may drop some meat for me. What was another one there? <laughs> don't inspect it, Tate. No, I don't want any of that. I did, I'm oh, sorry, I did take one skill. I think I took Bone Club. Um, I might come back to that pig in a minute and get that because it's money regardless. Don't know how much experience points you get for crafting things these days, if at all. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll loot all that. I don't think I can take all these bones though. I'll take one of them, craftable club, which I think weighs two. Um, I don't know, have they gone for my inventory now? They have. So I can take both of those. I oh, know, I'm overweight now. Oh no, no, if I loot, if I create another bone club. And they sell for 40, which isn't bad. I mean, once you've got to the point where you're um, mining gold and stuff, you don't really need this sort of petty things like doing clubs, but I'm sure it must give you some sort of experience points. Well, they send that 400, no, 406, 600. I think maybe it did, I don't know. I'm sure the other day, it used to be a really good way to get experience points was to craft iron ore into iron ingots and I was doing it and it wasn't giving me any experience points at all so I don't know if that isn't a thing anymore I'm not sure but yeah we'll go and have a look at our skill points yeah that's the only thing I did just to get myself a bit of money um 
I've got food back at the actual place, but now I can cook up, cook up some meat once I make this campfire as well. So we will go here, do this part, part 12. And we're going to make a campfire just there. And then what we got? Two. So we're going to need a lot more of that to make a well. But my next concern really here would be to make a door. Uh, which means 16. Uh, you know what? I've got an axe on me. I'm sure I can go and get five wood while we're waiting. And then we'll go and cook up the food that's on me. Because there'll be some more wood just down there. You know, the two most important doors are the one on the front of the house and that one there. Beyond that, helpful but not that important because unless you've got chests behind them. But the thing is, they've already got access to your, um, your, your I don't know what you call it, workbench. It was drafting desk before, uh, which means they can destroy your house. So even if they can't get to your chest, they could just destroy your house at that point. So it's kind of stupid. So those are the most important doors you can pretty much have. The next most important door is the one just behind it if you have a um, soldier or whatever you want to call it, a guard. Because you have several nodes available to you. So we've got one here, one here, one here. Those two are guards. That one's the door. That, that, and that are all for crafting um, stations. That's a guard. Uh, these are crafting stations. This is a guard. More crafting stuff. And we're done. So, uh, if you make a guard here, I think I said this before, if you make a guard here and have a door here, they have to kill the guard before they can um, destroy your house. So they at least have to go through that door, that door, and that door before they can destroy your house. Now, if you've just got basic doors, that's not really going to help you. Um, but if you've got more than basic doors, then you kind of, at least you've got a chance that they're not going to destroy your house. Let's do that. that. So my next job is I'm going to make a door here. I'm just going to stick a simple wood door. Over time I'd want to upgrade them as, as I say you can't just upgrade doors. It's not an option. You have to actually destroy the door and put a new one in. It doesn't really matter. It's just it feels like one step not needed um, because you're still going to use the same you know, amount of stuff to do it. Obviously I wouldn't have this door wide open either most of the time. Um, so yeah, that's that done. Now, next up, I would say the next most important thing you can probably make is a bed. Um, it's only 12, so it's not too bad. Because you can respawn at your house there. But if you feel that your house is going to get destroyed, then you probably don't want to worry about that. Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to cook up that meat that we have on us. And all the water that we've got. So we'll take that, that, that. We're going to cook up all this stuff. So we'll do the meat first, 82%. The good thing about this as well is it doesn't work. You have the timer and says fail. It fails before the timer. So I quite like that. I mean, I hate the timer because I want to be able to queue stuff up. So I should be able to go bang, 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 bang. It should say like several meat to be cooked. And I'll just do one after the other. Uh, games like... Uh, seven days to die I'll let you do that um see if it, no, it did it um but this one doesn't seem to do that i will say that it does actually leave the uh stuff on the fire i don't know how long it does but it will actually be on the fire for you to come back and collect and until you collect it you can't make um more of it but yeah we've got plenty of water now because these are the two options. Get a well up nice and quick and you'll always have some water when you come back to your house. Um, 51. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up to 100. 
Oh, there's one more to left as well. Oh dear. I'm going to dump all of this into my chest. I'll keep one water on me. I won't keep any food on. Actually, I'm not going to keep any water on me. I'm not going far enough away from my house. I'll sell those in a bit. And it's just that thing now. We're back at a point where we just need to go and collect stuff up again. I've got a load of base iron ore, but that may well completely fail every single time. So what do I want to do next? Well, it really depends what you want to do with your, your class. Now, there are certain things that I say are fundamentally required. Um, and that's one of them. Iron Ignot. <laughs> Should be Iron Ingot. Um, that's fundamentally required for a lot of stuff. Um, so if you didn't want to do any of this metal uh, armour, but you still want to do the, some of the weapons that the uh, this guy can do, you're going to need Iron Ingots for it. If you're a hunter and you want to do some of their um, traps and stuff further on, I think like the iron trap, iron dagger, you're going to need iron ingots, iron torch, I don't know what that is, but you need iron ingots. The cook doesn't need iron ingots. The bandit probably does for a few things at some point. A lot of their stuff's been removed. There's some like core cool helmets and tunics and stuff, and they've all been taken away. I don't know why. This guy's not going to need iron ingots for anything. Well, maybe for that. I don't know. Doctor, I get the feeling everything that says iron on it is going to need iron ingots. Um, so later they'll need it. But I do think it's a good good start point. Is And then there's iron shovels and stuff like that. So I would say try to get the iron ingots. So we're going to go and do that now. Come on. And then we're going to go for that. So we've, we're over on points here. And as I said, I don't think crafting does that anymore. But as soon as I pick something up on mine or anything, that'll go on. That's fine for me for now. I'm not really bothered about going for weapons or anything. We'll leave that where it is. Um, yeah, I think that'll do me. And we are going to... Is there anything else on me I need to chuck in here? I haven't. So we need to just basically get a load more stuff. I mean, that, that'll that be it for now. I'm going to go off and I'm going to collect some more stuff and things like that. But this is the basic, you know, this is the shape of the house now. I want to get some stuff up and running. Now, if I was on a populated server, I reckon, I reckon I'd want any crafting stuff that takes a long time over this side. And any stuff that's just like simply go and pick up or something, probably over this side. So maybe a well and storage or something over here. Because um, I don't, archery's crap in this game, but if someone wanted to stand on that hill and shoot me with a bow, they could. If I'm doing my crafting over here, I'm not really open to attack that much. Matter of fact, depending where the crafting station ended up, I could probably stand there. So, yeah, we'll sort of figure, figure out how we go with this. I mean, that's it. I, I'm going to carry on with this and show you a bit more. But it is basically, it's a bit boring in some ways, houses, but it feels nice when you're doing it. And it is literally gather wood, gather ore, gather wood, gather ore. And at a point, you'll need to start you having um, iron ingots as well. Weirdly enough, I'm going to tell you right now, gold doors, they're iron ingots. I don't know why. Why are they not gold ingots? Very strange. I originally I was confused and got gold ingots and it wasn't. Um, now, I know that needs 12,200, which is a lot of money, but in this game, it's not too hard to get hold of. Um, so, like, the actual resources for this are more than this. So, it's a bit of an oddball one as well. But I would say they'll do you for, for now. And I, I try your damnedest to try and get hold of that as fast as you can. But, you know, you may just have to end up with crappy normal doors on your house for quite some time. So that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. There will be more. I'm definitely planning on doing more um, of this just to demonstrating how housing works and, um, you know, things like that. Um, beyond that, it's not
Always that. Always when I'm talking. Uh, there's not a lot really to show off, but uh, I really need to do something, anything to make that go up. Um, but that's it. So, yeah, until next time, thank you for watching and game for game.